Well, let's end off with some actual good news here because everything that Biden's doing is not giving us anything good news. I would love to report some good news coming from the Biden administration. It's just not happening right now. So CNN ratings tank employees reportedly are freaking out. Now, <laughs> there's such a disconnect between the executives at CNN and the employees because the employees are losing their minds right now. The ratings are just horrific. There's people on YouTube that get better ratings than CNN does. And I'm not even kidding. When I, sh when I show you these numbers and tell you these numbers, you're, you're going to be rolling and laughing in your chair. It's unbelievable. These people even still have a job. So the executives aren't worried, but the workers themselves are the major changes CNN has made in leadership philosophy. And I'll put that in air quotes philosophy because they haven't changed philosophy and structure have not yet borne fruit in the ratings. And now CNN employees are reportedly beginning to panic. If they want to change their philosophy, they need to get rid of their lineup. And I'll tell you who their lineup is just one moment, as well as their ratings. A well-paced source at the uh, network told the New York Post that new management is not freaking out, but everyone else is at CNN. The numbers are indeed a cause for concern. In June, recent numbers, CNN primetime, <laughs> their primetime shows average just 654,000 nightly viewers. Go look at like Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity. I mean, <laughs> it blows these numbers out of the water. It's not even close. I believe Steven Crowder gets close to these numbers or more. Despite the allure of the January 6th committee hearings, which the network covered at length, and those 654,000, just 184, excuse me, 184, 148,000 of those were just the 25 to 54 age, like coveted demographic, the Democrat, the, the demographic that they actually want to look at and evaluate and capture. So 148,000 of the 654,000 were that as demographics that they try to zoom in on and get despite their anti-Trump rhetoric, despite them going at length on this January 6th committee hearing, pulling at straws, anything they can to grab onto something that will promote the Democrats narrative and try to get a Democrat reelected and also not lose as many seats in the house this coming November. But they're changing philosophy, folks. They're changing leadership. But at the same time, they're pushing the same agenda they were just a few months ago when they still had the same CEO and leadership. Check this out. The ratings for Brian Stelter show reliable sources. I'm gonna put that in quotes as well because it's not reliable and never uses sources were particularly abysmal, drawing just 585,000 total viewers. Of that, 79,000 were within that key demographic of viewers. Abysmal, terrible. It was the lowest rating show in over 20 years. <laughs> so not only is CNN breaking records in terms of decades, but so is CNN and Brian Stelter. As bad as Stelter's numbers have been, the numbers for other high-profile CNN personalities like Don Lemon and Anderson Cooper folks were literally way worse than Stelter's. Stelter outperformed each primetime host in the second quarter. The CNN Daily lineup likewise had a poor showing, losing 3% of its audience in one month alone. So they just completely continue to get shellacked on viewers, on their demographics. And, and, and the reason why I want to point this out too, Brian Stelter, Don Lemon, Anderson Cooper, is that they're, they're, they're trying to change philosophy and leadership. Hmm. How is that changing your philosophy when all three of those people promote a left-wing agenda and are not unbiased in their news, but they're going to they're gonna say that they are unbiased? It's crazy. So executives of the parent company, Warner Brothers, Discovery remain optimistic. You had the CEO who recently told Vanity Fair that he believes new CNN chairman and CEO Chris Litch is doing a great job pivoting CNN, but yet he's keeping that lineup. That nobody wants to watch and see. If you want to see real change in CNN, you need to fire basically everybody that's on TV there and say, hey, we're going to hire some real journalism. We're going to hire some real people, some real anchors that actually want to do their job. And you need to mix it up a little bit and, and put somebody in prime time that's actually conservative. And then people will start watching. They don't get that aspect. They don't freaking get it. And it's so mind blowing that they don't get it. And the reason why I say it's mind blowing, these are multi-million, maybe multi-billion dollar companies, very similar to Disney. And you still have these people in leadership, leadership positions that don't understand this aspect that middle America is different than your freaking left, left wing agenda. They don't understand that if you want to make money, you need to have conservatives. You need to have Republicans. Yes. You still need to have Democrats and all those things. You need to have those, but if you want to make money, you need to be unbiased. And if you are going to be biased, let everybody know it's still going to hurt your ratings because again, the vast majority of Americans don't want to watch your crap. But because you have these coastal areas like New York, Washington, Oregon, you know, Los Angeles, San Francisco, all these coastal areas 
watching your stuff. You go, oh, well, look, 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 these coastal states love me. No, they don't. That's why your ratings suck. Journalism first, he continued. America needs a news network where everybody can come and be heard. Republicans, Democrats, I think you're seeing more of that on CNN. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not seeing that on CNN. Look at your damn lineup, man. Your primetime lineup sucks. You don't have to be a freaking CEO to see that. I would love to watch CNN. I used to watch CNN when Glenn Beck was on CNN. Do you remember those days? Not anymore. Well, the CEO took over a network that appears to be in crisis. The former CEO, Jeff Zucker, resigned unexpectedly back in February when it was discovered that he and a female executive had an affair that began while both were still married. And the digital streaming service, CNN Plus, lasted less than a month and drew this. Only 10,000 subscribers. Folks, the bald Brad show that doesn't have its closet, that's a one-man show that edits everything himself, that has three jobs, almost has just as many subscribers as freaking CNN Plus does. Let that sink in a little bit there. <laughs> freaking dude in his closet is almost out-competing CNN uh, and I understand that's a jab at myself and I'm very proud at the amount of followers that I have and the amount of people that listen because the people that really support the bald Brad show are phenomenal. I know who all of you are. I almost even know you by name now because I see you in the comments all the time and I, I appreciate it. Even if I don't heart it and like it, I read all of them because I have an app for TubeBuddy and it triggers when everybody leaves a comment. So I get to read all of them and, and I, we have the best community here. I mean, our community that we gather and people that are truly loving and supportive, it, it, it really not only drives the show, but it also makes me excited to do it because I know that there's viewers that watch it. So it does make it exciting. And we all get along really well, which is great, great too. So the numbers for June may be discouraging for those employed at the network, but they say that they insist that the team are looking at the big picture, not the ratings themselves, which is... <laughs> Never a good sign when you have somebody say that because the ratings is what's going to draw money. And when your ratings are dropping, that shows that nobody likes your show, but you're going to look at the big picture. The big picture that keeps the same primetime lineup, that sucks. So clearly they're part of the big picture still. They're not going to get rid of them. Quote, I think CNN's the greatest news brand in the world with the greatest journalist. Now, the journalist part could be true. There are some really amazing journalists at CNN. It just sucks that they have to work for a company that nobody believes in. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to lean into that. We're not going to look at the ratings. And in the long run, it's going to be worth more. Dude, you haven't been looking at the ratings for a while. The last time you checked the ratings, it was with CNN Plus and you realized, oh God, that's not going the direction we like. We should probably scrap that. So it's only when they want to peek through the, the window a little bit and look at what their company actually looks like that they'll make change. As of right now, they're not looking at crap. And they said so as much by saying they're not going to look at their ratings. So there you have it, folks. There's some good news with CNN. Fake news media, the worst media, the abysmal media taking a hit thanks to the Trumpster promoting the fake news. Yeah, Jim Acosta, that was sick. Okay, the employees are freaking out over there, folks. It's not it's not unkind what they're doing. It's 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 a disgrace. CNN is just a disgrace, folks. Are you with me on this? Yeah, Jim Acosta, Brian Stelter. Don't even get me into Brian Stelter, folks. Folks, do you like Brian Stelter? Do you, folks, the cameras are turning off. The lights in the back are all turning off because nobody likes Brad Stelter. Don't even get me on the Don Lemon. <laughs> so, not a great trumpet pressure, but I want to leave you with something great there, folks. Something fun, something quirky, acting like a knucklehead on the airwaves for all of you. Again, thank you for starting the Brawl Brad Show. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. Leave us nice reviews on all the podcast sources. And folks, I will see you tomorrow here for Supernatural Saturday. And I'll see you next time here on the Ball Brad Show. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.